In my previous video, I talked about some of the Prisma 3D updates where I mentioned the new studio light option. Currently, this feature is only available in the Prisma 3D Beta Early Access version. However, I believe it may roll out to the official version soon, as it has already been a few weeks since its beta release. Now, let's go into detail about this lighting update and how you can use it in both your animations and renders. When you import the studio light setup, you'll notice options that are quite familiar. This isn't much different from the skylight option in the official version. You'll see controls like time of day, which adjusts the lighting based on time, and exposure, which essentially controls the intensity of the studio light. But the real highlight of this update is the addition of HDRI. In case you missed my previous video where I briefly explained it, let me give you a quick recap. HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image. Unlike normal photos, HDRIS capture a much wider range of light information. This makes them excellent for simulating realistic lighting and reflections in 3D scenes. I did some research and watched tutorials on HDRIS, and here's how you can properly use them in Prisma 3D. A great place to download free, high-quality HDRIS is polyhaven.com. Once you've downloaded an HDRI, simply import it into your scene. After import, you'll notice that the background is automatically replaced with the HDRI. Here's where the real magic happens. If you click on an object and go to the reflection settings under material, you can make that object reflect the HDRI environment you've imported. This feature works best with shiny surfaces like glass, water, or metal. Not all objects should reflect the HDRI, only reflective materials. For example, if you're working on a car model, enabling reflections will instantly make it more realistic as the car will naturally reflect its environment without you needing to manually build that environment. That's all for now about this lighting update. I'm sure Prisma 3D will continue improving this feature and I'll keep you updated when more changes arrive. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.